Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we're going to learn one of the most important parts of English grammar, the present simple tense, and some new vocabulary to help you talk about routines and daily activities. Grammar? The present simple tense is used to talk about things we do regularly, habits, facts, and routines. For example, I drink coffee every morning. We use this tense with subject base verb and we add S for he, she, and it. I play football, she plays football. Now, let's look at some keywords that will help you use this tense naturally. Vocabulary. Here are five words to use when talking about your daily routine. One, routine. A routine is something you do regularly. For example, my morning routine includes drinking coffee. Two, often, if something happens many times, we say it happens often. Example, I often go to the gym. Third, sometimes this means something doesn't happen always, but it happens occasionally. Example, I sometimes watch movies on weekends. Four, never, this means something does not happen at all. Example, I never smoke. Five, Every. This word talks about how often something happens, usually daily, weekly, or monthly. Example. I go for a walk every day. Listening practice. Story. Now, let's see these words and the present simple tense in a story. Listen carefully to practice your listening skills. Meet Sarah. She has a busy routine every day. She wakes up at 6 a.m. and exercises for 30 minutes. After her workout, she makes breakfast. Sarah always drinks coffee in the morning, but she never eats sugary snacks for breakfast. Instead, she prefers fruit and toast. Sarah works from home and starts her job at 9 a.m. She often reads the news before starting work and then checks her emails. Sometimes she takes short breaks during the day to relax. Around p.m. she makes a healthy lunch and takes a minute walk to clear her mind. In the afternoon, Sarah usually has meetings, but she never feels overwhelmed because she takes things step by step. She finishes work around 5 p.m. In the evening, Sarah likes to unwind. She often cooks dinner and sometimes watches her favorite TV series. Once a week... She meets her friends for a walk or a coffee. Every Saturday, Sarah visits her parents and spends time with her family. They enjoy playing board games together. Sarah believes that her routine helps her stay productive and happy. She thinks it's important to take breaks and spend time with loved ones. Now, let's read the same story. Pay attention to the sentences, grammar, and new words in the context. Then I will ask you some questions to see how well you have understood. Meet Sarah. She has a busy routine every day. She wakes up at 6 a.m. and exercises for 30 minutes. After her workout, she makes breakfast. Sarah always drinks coffee in the morning, but she never eats sugary snacks for breakfast. Instead, she prefers fruit and toast. Sarah works from home and starts her job at 9 a.m. She often reads the news before starting work and then checks her emails. Sometimes she takes short breaks during the day to relax. Around p.m. she makes a healthy lunch and takes a minute walk to clear her mind. In the afternoon, Sarah usually has meetings, but she never feels overwhelmed because she takes things step by step. She finishes work around 5 p.m. In the evening, Sarah likes to unwind. She often cooks dinner and sometimes watches her favorite TV series. Once a week, she meets her friends for a walk or a coffee. Every Saturday, Sarah visits her parents and spends time with her family. They enjoy playing board games together. Sarah believes that her routine helps her stay productive and happy. She thinks it's important to take breaks and spend time with loved ones. Reading Comprehension and Vocabulary Questions Now, let's see how well you understood the story. 1. What time does Sarah wake up? 
two, what does Sarah prefer for breakfast? Three, what does Sarah often do before starting work? Four, how often does Sarah meet her friends? Five, what activity does Sarah enjoy with her family on Saturdays? Answer key. The correct answers are... That's it for today's lesson on the present simple and some useful vocabulary about routines. Keep practicing and try to use these words and this grammar in your daily conversations. See you in the next video.